Hey guys, having an ERV is great and it's totally necessary for super airtight houses. If you don't have a super airtight house, then an ERV might not be the best choice and you can stay tuned for more ventilation strategies on this channel, which we've already featured, but we will continue to. In our case, our super airtight house has an ERV. It's located in the crawl space uh, for both the studio and for the main house. They're separate. You can learn about that on our playlist about the, the whole house build. But right here is the most convenient place for me to have placed the exhaust for the ERV. And over there is the intake, about 15 feet away. In the meantime, um, while this is very handy to have installed it here, it's a short run to the ERV. And for me to be able to maintain, there's two issues here with this particular system, which is a Fantech system that I installed on this house. And I will be doing a bigger video on some of the other issues that are coming up with this particular, the features of this and where, you know, you want to look at the features of an ERV just because it's the most expensive doesn't make it the best necessarily. So this is an eight inch uh, bent terminal and you can reach into it right up here. Now you're going to need to maintain this, especially if it's low to the ground. We've got the ERV ports for the main house over on the garden side and there's this very beautiful flower garden. Wonderful, I thought, oh, we're gonna get all the nice fresh flower smells in the house. Uh, what you also get is bugs. And so the first thing that we need to pay attention to here is bugs are gonna get into this and I need to make a better screen because what's in here right now, let me show you, is a screen that's not very tight. So bugs, you can imagine mosquitoes can absolutely fit through that. And so, I uh, made a template out of cardboard that I know fits exactly up in there and cut with some shears that were out of my duct making uh, kit two uh, regular screens like insect screen squares that I'm going to put into the outlet and the intake there. But before I do that, I'm going to want to clean it. And in fact, in general, you're going to after I put this in, it's going to get clogged more often because I mow the lawn out here. And so lawn trimmings and dust gets stirred up here and it gets sucked right into the intake, which is over there and also stuck potentially to the exhaust if it's not running, which this one is a demand controlled one. So it only runs when it needs to. And so both of these are gonna get gunked up and I'm gonna need to clean them. And when I clean them is very important because let me just show you this real quick. Come prepared. You don't want to be fighting with all of these guys that were on here when it's the season for them to be breeding and growing babies. So also you're going to get, because it's, you know, there's air moving through this, there's going to be spiders. And so you're getting all the spiders, mostly here where they're going to be daddy long legs, but you can see right here, this big girl, uh, there's obviously a fair amount of bugs that are in this general vicinity because we're close to the ground. There's plants and all that stuff. Now I can go ahead and put the, uh, the smaller screen there. I'm going to have to take my gloves off to do that. And what I am going to do is the way that this is shaped. Can you get down here and mm -hmm. look at this? So there's, this is basically just a sheet metal that's folded with, um, hems they're called. So what I do is I'm going to take my little leather man that I always carry with me. I'm just going to fold this hem down. The hem is what's enclosing this quarter inch gap screen. And I'm folding it down just so I can fit this other one in there and have it held by the hem as well. Now I can put this back in and put it into that hem. And tuck the top into the top hem that's up there. Can you see that? Trying. Great. Lovely camera angles. Yeah, right. <laughs> this is why phones, you can get in here with the giant camera that we make our TV show with. Um, so now I have cleaned it, which is always necessary in, you want to pick spring, fall generally, because this thing is literally going to get caked if it's an intake with little bits of grass trimmings and dead bugs, et cetera, et cetera. And then on the exhaust too, because it'll get caked as well. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and seal this as well with just a simple, uh, I don't need this anymore. 
uh, silicone caulk to make sure that the sides are also sealed tight. It's not pretty, but nobody's gonna look in there. Who knew that a Leatherman was actually also a hammer? So, now we've made sure that mosquitoes are not gonna be getting in and nesting and feeding all the spiders that are living on the pre-filter side of the ERV and therefore clogging it up. Again, we're gonna talk about more features of these particular ERVs that I've been learning are making the tuning process a little bit difficult on the long-term side, because of course maintenance is very important for ERVs specifically. Several of the other ventilation strategies are not nearly as maintenance heavy as this one is. And again, just to clarify, when you put them low on the wall, they're gonna get more bugs in them. The ones that are high on the wall that are on our tiny lab, up in the roof eave, for example, or in a dormer or over your front door, not gonna get nearly as many bugs. So you wouldn't have to worry about this as much. But uh, all of this is important to think about when you're planning your build or your renovation or your addition or whatever it is that you're doing. Thanks very much for watching. Tune in next time.